What's up, you guys? Alex Chasen back here with a brand new video. Hopefully, you're going to be David Ives on the swirl. Today's video, I'm going to be reacting to the 2020 mock draft. This is super early, guys. Yes, I'm wearing a Kyrie Irving Brooklyn Nets. We're not even going to talk about it, right? I just love collecting sports jerseys slash t shirts, so I'm not even going to talk about it, right, guys? I know I hate Kyrie, but man, man's a bar. Man's been killing it on Brooklyn. He's a good player. I just hate his decision to leave Boston. Besides the point, it's a super, super early predictions. I mean, people usually don't really do serious predictions until at least like March and April, right before the draft. The draft's in June. And yes, I'm going to this year's draft as well. I went to last year's draft. I saw Zion get draft. Let's just roll a clip of that real quick. With the first pick, the 2019 NBA draft, New Orleans Pelicans select Zion Williams. probably one of the most fun experiences of my life being at a draft seeing these young guys getting their lives changed like this they go to the draft you know two hours three hours later their life just changes like this they come on an nba roster and they have a chance to make their dream possible it's honestly some amazing stuff to watch if you ever get to have a chance to go to an nba draft honestly recommend it because it's an amazing experience seeing these guys lives lives just change like this from sitting there hoping to get drafted or if you're like zion you know you're gonna get drafted but having your name get called man must be a special thing that most people could never get to see. It's super special. Well, we got the 2020 mock draft here, and let's see who gets picked one. We're going to do the top 15 players. We're going to do the lottery, and um, well, lottery is 14, but we're going to go to 15, the first pick out of the lottery. And hope you guys do enjoy this video. Let's get it started. So we're here, NBA mock draft 2020. I'm going to guess the first pick is, yep, I see his face, Cole Anthony. Um, it's definitely not going to be a LaMelo Ball. LaMelo Ball is going to be a great player, but Cole Anthony is definitely the number one pick coming out of this year's draft. I don't know how I probably don't have to argue this. And so, and so if, if someone, excuse me, if someone like John Morant comes out of nowhere, because, you know, if they made if they made mock drafts for last year's draft at this time, John Morant would have been like the 60th overall pick because he came out of nowhere. He came out of like a no-name college, man. He came out of absolutely nowhere. Kind of like Damian Lillard who came out of Weber State. Non, like same with Kari Davidson. So, it, there's not going to be many like type of John Morant type of talents on here, but these are like the well-known guys that we know are going to be good and be solid NBA talents, or at least get a high overall pick. Like I said, we're doing the lottery, and Cole Anthony is the number one overall pick, and they say he's going to the Knicks, and even has the team they're going to. So Cole Anthony is going to be going to the New York Knicks. Next, that there is Anthony. Not all of them have pictures, but we have Anthony Edwards who will be going to the Hornets. Okay, also, also, by the way, I know I'm kind of, kind of going over the place. I do not know half these guys. I'm going to learn them throughout the college season, but I do not know a lot of these guys. Like these top few guys, like James Wiseman, who's next, Anthony Edwards, I know. But as we get a little deeper, I'm probably not going to know them at all. But we got Anthony Edwards from Georgia. He's 6'5", 207 pounds. Uh, he's a wing. So, you know, he's a good scorer. Can, uh, he has very good driving ability. He's a slasher, as it says. So, go, solid, solid pick for the Hornets there. Next, we have the, they're saying the Cavaliers are going to have the third pick. And they're going to be picking up James Wiseman. He's seven one. Jeez, I did not know he's seven one. And has a seven six wingspan. Has like this, but then like add my arm again because I probably I have like a six foot wingspan. Damn, bro, seven one, seven six wingspan, and you're set. Jesus Christ, that's a big human. But he's only two thirty pounds. He's two hundred thirty pounds. So he's kind of like a Kevin Durant, little lanky boy. And then at the fourth pick, they're saying the Hawks are going to be getting Lamelo Ball out of. Earl, why not he's playing overseas in Australia? I'm not even going to try that. Earl, I don't know. But they're going to be saying they're going to be getting LaMelo Ball. But they don't need a point guard, though, because they already have Trey Young. So it's more like the more like the Hornets. No, because they have Rogier, but he's not really going to be their star point. It's more like the Hornets or like the Knicks should get um, LaMelo Ball, because we all know the Knicks are going to get probably Coanthe, but like. Okay, I don't know why the Hawks will get LaMelo Ball, but they're saying he's going to get LaMelo Ball. And then the Grizzlies are going to get Theo Meldon. That's the first guy I have no clue who it is. I've heard of the other guys. Obviously, I know LaMelo Ball, but I've never heard of Theo Meldon. He's a 6'5", 174 wing player. Uh, he's 18. They're really having 18. Bro, who put their ages? 18.4? Bro. Anyways, he's a wing player slash shooting guard. He's a says he's also a willing defender. That's good. He hasn't been in the most productive player this season, but he has the potential to grow into a valuable NBA role. That seems like someone like Rui Hachimura. Well, like, he was good in college, but no one thought this game was going to produce well in the NBA. I mean, they did, but, like, no one really can predict how well he's doing. Like, he's killing it right now. So I, I feel like that's a kind of like a Rui Hachimura comparison. And I've heard of this guy, but only because of the 2K draft classes I put into my game when I do my rebuilds. Yep, I'm a nerd. Uh, Kings are going to get the sixth pick. They're going to get Denny Avedija. I'm going to screw up half these names. A forward out of Maccabee Tel Aviv. Yo, my fellow Jews. Let's go, Jews. 
Maccabee Tel Aviv. That's kind of sick, though. I'd be, be a guy from uh, Israel getting a high lottery pick. That's kind of nice. And then the Wizards are going to be getting Jalen McDaniels. I know he's a big man. He's pretty big, right? Yeah, 6'9", 185 pounds. A lot of these guys coming out of college are really light. Like, they need to gain some weight. It says he's a perimeter skill. Has potential to fit into any modern offense. That's, the, that's very. Those are qualities need. These days, bro, if you're coming into the league, I, that's why Al Holford is one of my favorite players in the league, man. He is a big man, six ten. He's not a huge big man that can shoot the ball. That's why I love Brook Lopez. He's a seven foot big man who can shoot the ball. I just Marcus saw he's okay at it, but like he's a seven foot big man that can shoot the ball relatively well. That's why I love big men that can shoot. They're really changing the game, and honestly, I think they're changing the game more than like Steph Curry because. When big men can shoot, they're not just staying in the low post. You have to it spreads the floor and challenges defenses like capabilities. I just I love big men that can shoot. If Rudy Gobert can shoot, man, best center in the league. He got the defense and then he got the shot. Watch out. If Rudy Gobert or even Andre, someone like an Andre Drummond, if they could shoot the ball, even like 25% from three, man, like even 28%, bro, I'd be happy with that. And then the eighth pick, the Bulls will be getting Nico Mannion. I know meek Nico Mannion. He's a 6'3 guard. He's pretty he's very skilled getting to the rock. He's kind of like a white Kyrie. He's very skilled getting to the hoop. He can make plays for others. A good passer. Very good all-around player. But the problem is the Bulls already have two point guards. Kobe White, who they just drafted this year, who looks really good. And they also have Chris Dunn. So if they're thinking about trading Zach Levine, if he doesn't, if he doesn't produce the way they want him, and then yeah, I could see, you know, put Nico Mini at shooting guard or even Kobe White at shooting guard. But as of right now, that's not would not be a very smart pick for the Bulls because they just have they have a young Chris Dunn who's like 26, 27, and they also have a wicked young rookie with Kobe White. So I don't really see the point of there. The first, honestly, I think this could be the first realistic. I mean, there's plenty of realistic picks we've already talked about, like Big Men and like Cole Anthony and Lamelo Ball. Solid, you know. What, what would we say Lamelo Ball was going? Lamelo Ball. Hawks, I guess that's not super realistic, but um, I really like this one here. Scotty Lewis, he, I know him also from 2K, do my rebuilds. 6'6 six, six wing, he, I, he's a very good defender. He's very lanky. I know this, he's like, he's only 180 pounds. He's 6'6, that's really light, but he's super lanky and lean and just like muscular and fast. Like he's a, he's a big body, like he's bulky, but like he's lean, like he's ripped. He's like really athletic. In 2K, man, I freaking dunked from the free throw line with him when he gets to be like 25 years old. Like I said, I'm a nerd when it comes to 2K. Scotty Lewis, wing out of Florida. That's a good pick for the Pistons because you have Blake Griffin, who's your like power forward. You got Andre Drummond in your center. You don't really have a really good wing player. You have Luke Kennard, who's your shooting guard slash ball forward. You, know, you got Tony Snell. You don't really have a good young talent to like grow at your small forward. That's a perfect pick for the Pistons. And then the RJ Hampton out of New Zealand, who's also playing overseas in Australia for the Spurs. That's a perfect pick for Greg Popovich because Greg Popovich loves. Obviously, these are not these are not, these are not going to be the picks. Like the Knicks could get like the freaking fifth pick, you know what I mean? But these are like what the what the projected picks are going to be. The Spurs man, Pop and the Spurs love getting overseas guys. Tony Parker, Mano Ginobili, they love getting overseas guys. They usually turn out pretty well for them. So this could be a very good pick for the Spurs and could be turning into like the next guard of their future for the Spurs. I mean, I do have DeHante Murray, but injury prone, and I think he'd be a better as like a backup point guard in this league. Good defender, solid score, but I don't really think he's a starting point guard in this league. For the, for the young team, except like DeMar Rosen and Aldridge, they have on the Spurs, he's a good fit, but long term, I don't think you're winning much with DeHante Murray. And the Suns are going to be getting Precious, Ashiwa, Forward out of Memphis, never heard of this guy. She possesses NBA size and flash with the type of versatility that will be attractive to NBA front office personnel. Kind of like an all-purpose guy, kind of like a Rui Hachimura. I like that. Then the Pelicans will be getting Tyrese Maxey. This is another realistic pick that I like to see. I know Tyrese Maxey from 2K as well out of Kentucky. He's 6'3", 198 pounds. That's a pretty big dude. He's 19, still very young. I like Tyrese Maxey for the Pelicans. They need a, I mean, they have Lonzo Ball, but he's another one of those guys as of right now. I would not want him as my starting point guard. Yeah, I'll have him as a, I'd love to have him as a backup point. Come off the bench, average 10 and 10, two steals a game, give you like three rounds as, as well. It's a perfect backup point guard. And then Tyrese Maxey could also be the backup point guard. I think that'd be honestly a good pick. I know I never, I know I've, I've said so far, you don't need like two point guards if you just got one. Like, same with like Kobe White. And then they were saying they were going to get. I forget who they said they were going to get, but you don't need like two point guards. I think this would be a good pick though for the Pelicans because they, they're one of those teams that honestly could use it because Lomelo Ball doesn't really seem like a point guard of the future. I think he's more of like a six man type of point guard. That's just my personal opinion. And then with the 13th pick, they say Isaiah Stewart, big man, 6'9, 250 pounds, will be going to the Trailblazers. They just, they just got 
Nazir Little, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm, yeah, they got Nazir Little, so I don't really know why they need a, another young big man. They already have Yusuf Nurkic, who's going to be coming back. That's probably not the best pick for them. And then Josh Green. I know Josh Green from 2K as well. He's actually a very elite defend. He's a very elite defender, good solid player all around, good solid shooter. I mean, he could work on it a little bit, but he's like more of like a slasher type of athlete. For the Thunder, it's honestly wouldn't be back. So Gallinari's probably be gone. He's more of a power forward. Unless Shea Gallows, Gilgis Alexander to build a young core around them. That's pretty. That's pretty nice. And the last person we have Trendin, Trendin, uh, what's his name? Trendin Waterford going to the Hawks via the Nets. And Waterford combines his size and ball handling, which makes him an intriguing prospect and a vers versatile big man. So, so far, that's all I'm going to be doing. Maybe I'll do like an extended video where I go through the top 30 picks, or I, this might go to 60 picks. How far? Okay, it does the top 30. I'm going to not show you the rest of that. I might do an extended video, do the next 15 picks. If you please, if you enjoy this video, please drop a like, man. Okay, it's like 8 o'clock at night. Or not, it's not 8 o'clock. It's 6 o'clock at night. I'm tired. I had school. I'm watching the Celtics. Anyways, hope you guys did enjoy this video. And these were the top lottery picks projected for the 2020 NBA draft. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Please drop a like. And like always, peace. I am tired. <laughs>